Hello everybody, my name is Freddy Acosta. We're here to conduct a smooth challenge. What's that you say? We're running a Mazak versus a Mazak. The first one is running a smooth control. That is our VC 505X. The second one is running our previous generation Matrix 2, which is a VC 405X. Our challenge is to run the same exact part, running the same speeds and feeds, and figure it out which machine would do it faster. How are we gonna figure that out? We're gonna be able to keep track of the timer by looking at our screen that's showing us smooth time and matrix two time to see which one would do it sooner. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and walk over to our smooth control and talk a little bit about it. We made it into a touch screen. It's no longer a, hey, I need to look for something through the panel. I could just go in there and be like, all right, what am I searching for? What other features or what else does it have that's brand new? First off, let's talk about the processing speed. Processing speed is about four times faster than an older control. Aside from that, servo tuning is three times quicker, giving you a faster processing speed on the smooth control. Does this control offer me the same EIA programming, Mesotro programming? It sure does. Go into a programming. We have an EIA program, for example, a G code. What happens if you're looking at the tool path, you're looking at the graphics for that particular program, and you notice there's a discrepancy. You're like, what happened there? How can I fix it? I make it bigger, I could zoom into it, and you're like, huh, what's going on there? And hey, it zoomed in, it's letting me know that it's in that line of code, and I could fix it right then and there, or change it on the fly. What would happen if by accident, you make a mistake? I have a little section right here that has arrow keys. That is representing the undo function that we brought new to the smooth control. You make a mistake, you can hit go back, and it highlights what just got undone. Everybody's familiar with Empty Connect. On this screen, I could actually monitor five machines. I could view what's going on with them through this menu. What happens if we had cutting level select like we had in our older control? We refer to it as smooth machining configuration. This is basically the new and improved version of our cutting select in our matrix two control. We give you seven preset operations or settings that you could go in there and modify. Once you change acceleration, cutting speed or sharpness, it'll actually update that configuration. Look at that. Our smooth control has already completed the task of running the same exact program while we're still waiting for the Matrix 2 to catch up. Hey, if you want to conduct your own Mazak challenge or smooth challenge, why don't you give us a call at Mazak?